epigenetic research bridges this long-contested argument. For decades, researchers believed that the genetic information we inherited from our parents was fixed and unchanging because the genetic code was hardwired in our DNA sequence with the nucleotides adenine, guanine, thymidine, and cytosine. We now know that our environment and our experiences can alter the genetic code in multiple ways. Environmental influences can cause large or small errors in the DNA that alter the sequence. In some instances, large chunks of the genome are removed or duplicated, much like having a chapter removed from a book. Other times, only a single nucleotide is changed, which is more analogous to changing a single word in that book. Additionally, certain changes occur that affect how the code is read these are called epigenetic modifications. Epigenetic modifications can be thought of as cellular punctuation. The words, or DNA sequence, in the genetic code are identical, but changing the epigenetic modifications drastically changes the meaning. Similar to the way punctuation affects the meaning of a sentence. There are over 40 different epigenetic modifications that dictate when, where, and if genes are turned on or off. Epigenetic research probes the interface between genetic adaptation and environmental experience, which includes the effects of toxins, stress, and even learning and memory. Our question about nature versus nurture becomes more complex. Epigenetic modifications can take the form of nucleotide modifications, such as the addition or removal of chemical groups, or modifications to the histone proteins that help to pack the extreme length of the DNA into tiny cells. While epigenetic modifications occur in all cells in the body, neuroepigenetics refers to modifications occurring in the central nervous system. For example, environmental stimulation, such as maternal care, can enhance the brain's ability to adapt which primes the brain for improved learning. Neuroepigenetic research can help unravel the meaning of these adaptations at the molecular level. Neuroepigenetic modifications are implicated in learning and memory, stress responses, Alzheimer's disease, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, and neurodevelopmental disorders such as Angelman syndrome, autism, and Rett syndrome. Understanding neuroepigenetics may present a new approach for treating mental disorders and learning disabilities as they are potentially modified by experiences and environmental cues. But there are challenges that lie ahead. There are over 6 billion base pairs of DNA in each of your cells. This provides an enormous opportunity for the addition or removal of various modifications throughout your genome. Furthermore, each type of cell in the body has its own unique set of epigenetic punctuation marks to tell its own story. For example, the epigenetic punctuation in each neuron is different from every other cell in your body. And the punctuation in the liver is very different from the punctuation in the skin. And these modifications are dynamically regulated in response to various environmental stimuli. So understanding epigenetics is a huge undertaking. To understand the neuroepigenetic complexity underlying behavior, it is necessary to work together. To apply this knowledge and help those with mental disorders and learning disabilities.